All right, I got the project done. I am very pleased on the way this turned out. Uh, this casting product I got from Amazon, I'll put a link in the description below. This uh, LED Edison bulb, I just picked it up at the big box store. And the uh, light socket as well, I picked up from Amazon. And I'll leave that link in the description below. The switch is just a uh, rotary um, low profile switch. It's the lowest profile switch I could find. Um, and I picked that up at the big box store. But this project was nerve wracking. <laughs> um, the casting went awesome. I read the instructions twice just to make sure I didn't mess it up because I pretty much only had one shot. Um, the bucket of resin um, was only for one adult hand or two kids hands. I only had one shot to actually make this work so um, the casting went fine. Um, just read the instructions and it's pretty straightforward. The nerve-wracking part is um, how brittle it is when it comes out of the casting. Um, the first thing I did was broke my thumb off and it's back on. It's not perfect but I can go back with a uh, maybe a detail sander uh, or uh, just a little bit of hand sanding and, and get it a little better. Uh, but everything else, the details came out great. It even picked up my dad ring and it uh, perfectly and it even picked up the small little diamonds in the ring itself and uh, it picked up that perfectly. Now after the casting was done, I did have to go back and clean up a little bit. Um, I had some uh, imperfections in the mold where the, uh, it was just clumpy and that clump dried on the hand. So what I found was just taking a uh, small precision screwdriver, uh, a flathead, and plucking those little imperfections off. And you just go around the hand and, and do that, and it was actually fairly easy and actually kind of relaxing, actually. Um, the uh, board was just a scrap piece of walnut I had laying around, and I had a little dilemma on that as well. Um, I knew I needed to epoxy the hand to the board, but I didn't want to put the oil on the board before I put the epoxy on, so I epoxied the hand with a lot of epoxy and let it dry, and then um, went ahead and wired it up and everything, and then went back and did the finish, which wasn't bad. It was just a, a thing you had to work around, I guess. Uh, maybe there's a di different order of operations I could have done that in. I, I'm not sure. Um, but that's how I accomplished it. Uh, that was just uh, natural Danish oil is the only thing I used. And um, the light turned out pretty cool. I'll get you some close-ups of the details of the hands. It really got down right down to the fingerprints of my uh, fingers. Uh, I was really impressed with the details that it got in my hands. Um, it got all my veins in the back of my hand, uh, my knuckles quite well. Uh, I already mentioned my ring, and uh, it even really got down into my fingertips uh, and the uh, fingernails as well. I am very pleased on how this turned out, and I think I will try this again and uh, maybe do it with my kids' hands or my wife's hands or something. Uh, but it, it was pretty cool and this product has uh, worked out pretty good. It's called Keepsake Hands Plastered Statue Kit. Uh, Luna Bean is the manufacturer. So that's all I got for you this week. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Go check out my second channel, MF Woodshop 2. I usually do some follow-ups on uh, some videos um, and even sometimes give you a sneak peek of what's coming up. So go check out my second channel, and until next time, I'll see you later.